We're calling her Rukmini to protect her identity. The 16-year-old has a lot of schoolwork to catch up on. She's missed nine months of classes after being raped several times. She says she was too traumatized to go. I never thought that something like this would ever happen to me and that I would have to go to a police station and register my complaint. I was scared that I would get a bad name. Rukmini says she was 15 when she was first raped by someone she knew. The abuse came to light after the man threatened her in her home one day. My husband and I were out when he entered the house, took a knife out and threatened my daughter and told her he would kill her and her brothers. So my younger son went outside and screamed for help. A government study found 53% of Indian children have been sexually abused. Society as a whole, I mean Indian society, I would talk about, probably it's not very child friendly. The child rights are, are not given any uh, thought uh, by, by, the, by the large part of the society. To address the problem, the government introduced new legislation four years ago which broadened the definition of sex abuse and recognizes females and males as possible victims. It aimed to make courtrooms less daunting for children and fast-track cases in special courts. Deborah Patel supports victims through the legal process and says cases still aren't moving fast enough. And the law is there. I mean, cases are going to court. It's just that um, the court system is so backlogged with cases. So even if there are special courts allotted for child sexual abuse cases, it's still not fast enough for um, a case as serious as sexual abuse. The government-run Child Welfare Committee says that even before a case can make it to court, approaching police can be the hardest part. There's a stigma attached to sexual abuse cases. That also uh, sometimes compels the parents not to reveal such circumstances. That's an issue Rukmini's parents had to face. When my husband found out, he was ready to kill himself and said, let's all kill ourselves together. I said, what will we achieve by dying? Rukmini reported the abuse with support from her mother. The case hasn't been resolved nearly a year after it was reported. But the man who's accused of raping Rukmini has been arrested and charged. Whatever happened to me shouldn't happen to other girls. They shouldn't be scared that their life will be ruined. The trouble I had to go through, the kind of running around I've had to do. I hope that no other girls go through this. I hope they can be strong. She says she's glad she's spoken out. Rights groups say the sexual abuse of Indian children can only stop if people talk about it and laws are fully implemented. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera.